Assalamu alaikum sisters, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I thought I would share with you some tips of how I store my Islamic clothing and also some tips of how I take care of them in everyday life that I use them a lot. So I need to take care of them well. So I thought I would share, your, uh, share with you some of my tips. Just without further ado, let's just get into it. So let's see first how I store my niqabs. So I have this this box. I got it from IKEA. It's really nice. You can you can just pull it from here on this side, and then it has the pull on this side as well. So you can use it either way, and it's really handy. This is something like seven euros or something. So let's see how I have things in here. Let's see if I hope I don't drop this one. So in the back, I just keep. Um, just keep my three layered niqabs in here then I have all my one piece niqabs in here and I guess you, you could think that it would be smarter to put the three layered ones in here because this is the largest con uh, compartment but um, I use them uh, less regularly so I hope you focus um, I use them less regularly so this way I just can see the most used ones and I can just see the colors really fast and easy so I, I find my stuff really easily from here. Then and uh, in the front compartment I just have my all my flap niqabs so I got some new colors because I really love them so from Sunnistan so just all my flap niqabs are here one piece niqabs here with string or without string and the three piece niqabs aren't in here and as you can see I I like to roll my niqabs so they fit there nicely and they stay neatly there then in this front box or cube I just keep gloves and separate sleeves don't have so many gloves I need new or I need I need more gloves but alhamdulillah and separate sleeves in here I keep my tube under scarves. Um, this is this I just got from Sona Style. I, I wanted to try their tube under scarves. I'm really liking the quality of it. I'm thinking of getting other colors as well. So if you're looking for nice, firm, stretchy under scarves, and this is really nice. Then I have one more tube scarf, which I'm wearing right now, so it's not here obviously, and then some lace lace underscarves and these are really or lace tube underscarves and these are really handy in the summer because they are really lightweight they keep your hair uh nice and back and they keep your they prevent your hair from slipping which is really nice so it's without adding extra layers on your head too much so they're really nice in the hot weather so i really recommend you having those i just got them from my local islamic store like muslim clothing store here so i don't know where you can find those but but yeah, if you find lace tube and scarf, I recommend you get some. Then just in here, I just have some hijab pins. Hijab pins and no snug hijab pins for for whatever. I Yeah, just in, in this weird plastic bag. In here, I have my triangle underscarves, which I don't use these much because they are not my favorite though. But I still keep them here. And in here, I have ninja underscarves. And if you don't know what the ninja is, I will show you just quickly. It's just this. Can you even see it if it's upside down? Nice. So it's the head part. It's the head part and then it has some part cover your neck. And I like to use these during the winter. I will fold it later. I, I like to use those in the winter time because they give you extra um layer on on your neck as well so it won't you won't feel cold but this these are in here folded nicely but i really love this container it's really nice and organized i can just pull it out and i can see everything clearly so i really recommend you having that the second one is also from ikea yeah this come in a set of six i think five or six and this one is the biggest and then it has medium and small um, boxes as well but in here I keep my shalas and hijabs so in the front again this is really easy 
to pull it out, put it on a, on a bed or a, or a table and just choose whatever I like. And I like to fold them upwards or like this KonMari style. So you can easily see everything. In the front, I just have, this is the only one rolled. This is the Suna style maxi, whatever, um, hooded instant fast hijab, whatever it's called. It's just folded here. Um, these three are Shayla's. I think the extra large Shayla's from the Sneem collections. I really recommend you having some of these. They're extra excellent quality. Um, not too slippery, but not too uh, sticky either. So they it, they have they flow nicely on your head. They have amazing color range on their website, and they are quite affordable. So I really and I love the the sizing of it. So it's it's excellent excellent quality. I really recommend you having those. Then I just have some random. Uh, these are like my most used Shayla's from this box. I hardly ever use this or these. I might be selling them forward at the same for this one. This one almost never, so I might sell it or give it forward. This one is this one is the Suna style extra large essential Shayla in Sahara color, and then one jersey hijab, which I almost never use. It's just here if I need to have something sporty or something fast to put on my head or I don't know. I really I haven't used it in a long time, so I should really definitely give it forward. So those were all my Shayla's and Islamic clothes in this closet. Then see the other one here. Let's open so the lights would be... I hope this focuses. So this is an overlook on the closet. And let's start from this side. This this is really handy. This shelf, I just got it from some local store, just like like a cheap store, but you can get these from Ikea as well. This one has one, two, three, four, five co bigger compartments and then four smaller compartments. And you can just, with the Velcro, you just hang it up like this. And you can see it's quite, uh, it's fully loaded. So it's quite heavy. It's been bent. Please focus, please focus. So uh, it's kind of quite bent, but it still lasts, alhamdulillah. This is where I keep my overhead jilbabs and jilbab sets and things that don't wrinkle easily. So I have them color coordinated, so I know where everything is. Um, so black, blue, then, so yeah, so this is black. I have a skirt on this side and the jilbab top on this side. Just blue uh, khimars. These are the only khimars that I can put here because they don't wrinkle. Then I have brown skirt. I really hope this is focused. Uh, brown skirt and green jilbab top, which I, I sold the top for this one. Um, yeah, well, I have them here. Then I have something purple here. Jilbab top and a, and a skirt again. And here I have the silver pants, or what do you call like harem, harem pants. So I have black, like more slippery fabric and then more like a jersey, jersey fabric, blue one, which I like to use under a bias or something for extra comfort. Then in here, just I have something that I don't usually use that much, but I might use someday and I'm, I'm still considering I might sell them forward. So there's this uh, pink Kimar, Kimar, which I sewed the armholes myself and it, it didn't work out so well. So I might keep this forward, we'll see. This is one abaya that I'm not using at, as much at the moment. I want to still keep it for future. And then denim skirt. And this is like this is like a knitted poncho, but I figured out to use it as a winter remar. So I might use show that sometime other some other time. Then I just have <coughs> some regular clothes here, which I'm not gonna show, but then these are all my Islamic clothes. So let's start with these actually here. So this is how I have. This is, I categorize everything. Usually I try to keep them with each other. These are remarks with the armholes. I might do um, a video that I show like kind of like a lookbook style video where I show you how I style, style different items together and you can see how they work different clothing so if you like 
to see that like please let me know so I might be doing that so these are just remarks with the armholes dark blue and black ones so I keep them in one hanger then these two are pants hangers and I will show you in the end of the video in just a second how these are used but I they can fit for like five and uh, five items and in this side this one is like my least uh, rarely less less often used items but I know which one everything is more like the bigger Remars and this is the same collection Remars and these three upper ones are the diamond ones this one is missing one because uh, I was barbecuing and it burned uh, partly so I need to fix it more on that inshallah later so um, uh, yeah I survived so it's there and then these two this one uh, is for the purple that I'm wearing right now so it's not here and this is brown similar rounded remar really really annoyed by these these sleeves that I'm wearing today oh my goodness okay moving on this is my newest edition it's the Suna style which obviously you can't see it's a Suna style um, jilbab top which I might show in a lookbook video and then we get to these uh, bias and these are all from the same collections except uh, this one should have the purple that I'm wearing now from Suna style so in here I just have three Mariam abayas from the same collections the Mariam is the more um, fitted sleeve but still very modest look I need to make a video because I really love these are very handy and comfortable so I have it in black mustard and taupe colors and then I have three Noor Bisht Abayas. So I have uh, the, the Noor Bisht Abayas with the smaller sleeve with the more generous cut in it. And so I have it black, dark grey and brown. And I have the purple that I have. And then this is the same collection as Hawa Abaya, two piece Hawa Abaya, which is really handy. So it has the Abaya top and the skirt. I just hang it on the bar of the hanger. Then I just have Om Hafsa, two piece Om Hafsa jilbab. The same way I put it, just I just put it, the skirt and the jilbab top in one. Then these are just malhafas that I rarely use anymore. They're like malhafas are like bigger overhead abaya jilbabs that are like very Saudi style. So I just, I just put all of them in this one poor hanger it's really heavy so they are there and this one is from Egypt but I don't give it up yet this one is a Khrimar top that is a little bit uh, it's like a light mauve color which doesn't show and has these crystals but they don't show much when you're using it and I'm planning of removing them because it's kind of it, it would be too flashy but I used it for Eid it was very nice and then I just have this uh, actually hijab, like more layered hijab, which I haven't been using much because I'm struggling how to style it. Anyways, this is how I style, how I store my stuff just on hangers, easy to see. I used to have these, I used to have this and some of my abayas in the entrance, but now that I have more closet space in the new apartment, I get to fit everything here and yeah you could think that it would be smarter to put these longer abayas on the side and then the shorter ones here so they don't like cringe like that and yeah i need to get boxes for those items from ikea but that's in the future inshallah so those are basically that's everything i have and then the jilbab jacket that i have i just keep it in the entrance entrance hall and and in a hanger as well so that's it so I thought I would uh, talk about more about the hanger that I showed you, the pants hanger that I was storing my Khrimars in. And this is it. So this one I got from Yusk, which I think it's a Nordic company, but you can find these uh, from many other places, I'm sure. It's just a pants hanger for, I think you can store five pants in this. And the cool idea or like the cool concept of this is that you can lift this up 
and just it's just easy to pull the hermat out so it goes either way you can just open it like this and it's just really handy and it has some foam on it so it uh, the clothes don't slip off of it so this is really nice i like to fold all of them on the one side so it just looks more neat and just fits nicer to the storage but like yeah i can fit five remarks and like i said i store usually like remarks and wrinkle easily on these but i think this would be nice for shayla's or i guess obias as well but i prefer to use it on my hermar so this is like i know where everything is i can see them and they are neatly neatly folded and they come out quite wrinkle free so which i really like so these are really handy i re really recommend for you to have some of these in your house i normally wash my clothes in a regular washing machine in a regular cycle with 40 degrees uh, temperature celsius temperature and i just use a uh, regular detergent i prefer to use something that's uh, gentle on the nature and hopefully gentle on or preferably gentle on animals as well and this this brand is pretty pretty good for, with that but like as muslims we should take care of the nature and animals and we should consider their well-being as well so i'm not perfect in that but i try to do decisions or make choices that would help me to prevent any extra load on the on the environment or the animals welfare so anyway i just use any detergent would be good I guess like on the gentle ones i don't use the black detergent for my black clothes even i guess that would be that would be prob probably preferable uh, from time to time but i just don't use it and it, my clothes have been handling quite fine with just the regular things that i have and i usually don't use the softener fab fabric softener for some uh, jilbabs and abayas from time to time i do put softener so they don't get um, static and they just keep more more wrinkle free but otherwise I don't feel the need to use the the softener but like you can you can make that choice yourself then the knit gloves knit gloves and gloves I hand wash usually after after every day or every other day I wash my gloves by hand just use a regular hand soap or just any like one of those piece soaps soap pieces whatever you call them to wash the gloves but the gloves i do wash them in in the washing machine sunna style uh, recommends hand wash or gentle cycle wash for their gloves but i've been always washing them in the washing machine and i haven't had any problems with that so i put i use these uh, laundry bags that has the zip I put them in here by color, the darker ones obviously together and the lighter ones separately. And I just put the knickers in here so they don't get tangled, their strings don't get tangled and just keep it nicely and neatly and I just can just get them out nicely. I know where everything is so just keep it a lot more organized. Um, for abayas, abayas I just throw in the wash, I let them do their, <laughs> let the washing machine do their thing. And then I hang dry, hang them dry. How do you say that? I don't know. Hang them to dry, dry. Oh, my English is sometimes really bad after I feel, oh, I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know, hang dry them. Abayas and overhead jilbabs, I always hang them on hangers. Everybody knows what these are. So I always hang them uh, so that way they become wrinkle free and more neat and they just uh, dry airy and I get to lift them into the closet really easily but for skirts and remars I put them on a drying rack uh, I don't own a tumble dryer but I I wouldn't recommend to use one but because it's kind of rough on your fabrics but whatever it's like on your own <laughs> own responsibility if you try to use um, dryer for your clothes if you haven't guessed already i don't like ironing like i do everything i can to choose the fabric so they are wrinkle free or wrinkle resistant 
or that I store them, hang them, dry them in a way that they would get least greases as possible. But if I need to iron my clothes, I just use a regular iron. And I usually use on the setting two, when there's like three, two, and one, I use the setting two or high on the between of two and three. Just check your fabrics, always test them out, what works for the fabric so you don't burn them. But for me, for my fabrics and with my iron, I have been surviving with the number two. So just a two and with steam. Um, so it just, it just like uh, irons them really nicely and I don't have to worry about them. And it's quite fast and convenient. But I don't like creases. Who, who likes creases? But so that's why I usually make the decisions when I'm buying the clothes. When I'm buying the clothes already, I choose fabrics that I know to be wrinkle free. I know, for example, caviar fabric that they, Ahawat uh, sells them. I will link everything down below, inshallah. Ahawat sells caviar fabric, House of Jilbab. At least they have caviar fabric. Some of my overhead jilbabs that I roll in the closet that you saw are caviar fabric. And that's why I can roll them. I don't know, wool peach, wool, is it wool peach fabric? I guess that's, uh, that wrinkles a little, bo a little bit more easier, a little bit easier. But like the caviar fabric, I can just roll it and put it in a closet. And I don't have to worry about it because I really don't have time or energy or nerves to iron my clothes every single day for work. So, or for any, any outing. So I just choose the caviar for the overhead jilbabs and my work clothes. So I can just roll them in the closet. And for the slim collections, the abayas that you just saw, um, they are, they can get uh, wrinkles. So that's why I like to hang them on hangers so they get, stay wrinkle free. But other than that, and also the cremars, the cremars, I don't know how to pronounce that. They do get greases a little bit easier. So I like to hang them on the pants hanger, like I said. And that way I minimize the amount of creases and they are kind of smaller. So I, it's easier and faster for me to iron them in the, in the beginning of the day. But the, choose your fabrics, right? See, see what works for you. And with niqabs, I don't have to, I don't ever have to iron them. I just roll them like you saw. I just roll them. Maybe I should show you how I roll them and fold them because I didn't show you in the video. So yeah, here I have one of the, one of the niqabs that I like to store rolled. And this saves space. It makes, it doesn't, they don't crease which is nice. So I just like, maybe I show you first how I just roll them. In Sunnah style niqabs, you can see there's always a fold when it, when it comes to you, there's always a fold in the middle and that's pointed to the other side and like on a, on a hollow or hole to the other direction. My sleeves are all over the place, but I like to point the pointy part outside when I'm when I'm wearing them so it's like pointed to the outside so I just have that pointing I match these two parts here so I put them like so am I all over the place of course again it's okay so I like this so it's half then I just fold these edges in here I'm really annoyed by this abaya at the moment and then it just roll. Let me see. I obviously do this against um, against the shelf or something, but now it's like all over the place. But then you just roll it till the end and just don't have to be too fancy about it. And that's it. You have a neat roll and it really doesn't grease. I never iron my niqabs. That would be ridiculous if I would actually iron my niqabs. Like I, I wouldn't have time. I wouldn't have time or nerves iron every single piece of my clothing so that's how I store my clubs so I hope this was informative for you and I hope you got some tips about how to store them how to, how to take care of them <coughs> excuse me how to take, take care of them and how to keep them as nice as possible for you and if you have any other ideas and tips how you store or take care of your niqabs and harimars, jilbabs, hijabs, anything Islamic clothing that you have to stop, please do share them in the comments box below so we can all benefit from them inshallah. And yeah, I hope this is informative. I hope you liked it. 
and I see you in my next video inshallah and don't forget to subscribe and like if you actually like it I like your feedback and likes tell me what I need to improve so keep the comments coming and I hope to see you in my next video inshallah Assalamu alaikum